glad that you guys came over today to see this cleaning video. So I don't know if it's going to be like an extreme and all day. I have no idea where it's going to lead me. It's like 5.30 on Saturday night. I just cooked a pizza, you can see over here on the oven, and pulled that out for my family to eat because I had some stuff that I wanted to make and I really need to get the kitchen cleaned before I can actually cook the things that I need to make for tomorrow. So I'm bringing in some breakfast food to actually our Sunday school class, so I needed to make a few things ahead of time, some bread, stuff like that. So yeah, um, but my kitchen is terribly a mess. My whole house is a mess from Christmas, so I need to get the house cleaned up then I can start thinking about taking Christmas down. We usually keep our Christmas up until I think like New Year's usually because we just like it. We've done so much work to put it up so I like to keep it up. This year I'm kind of feeling the itch to like take it down and have that relief but I don't know. We'll see. I think I'll probably just take it down um, like New Year's Day-ish and that'll be fine too. So I want to go through a lot of my Christmas this year and declutter. So on this video, you'll just be seeing a ton of motivation. I hope it helps you and motivates you um, to just get some stuff done that you've been putting off because I've been putting this off for days. As you can see my dishes, as long as you get to it, that's all that matters. So I hope this gives you guys some much needed motivation. Let me brag on my husband a little bit. He got me these, oh, he just started music, oh my goodness. He got me these um, wireless AirPods to go to my phone. I love them. So I am going to listen to a video or music or something while I clean this mess up and I think that it will help me because sometimes things look so overwhelming and then I put a song on or something and it takes me like two songs to do it. Does that happen to y'all? Because that happens to me all the time. So I'm super excited to have these, put them in my ears and get to work. So right off the bat I have something kind of crazy to tell you guys. So I was going to cut this out of the video because it wasn't really relevant and then the more I thought about it, it is really really relevant in just today's society. But I had texted somebody something earlier in the day and it took them a while to get back to me and I just offered to help them um, in kind of a way that they needed at this time in their life versus what they're kind of going through. And so I just kind of offered to help and I got this amazing text message back just saying that this person was so grateful that they really, really needed um, this help and that it would be a tremendous help to them. And I thought, you know what, I really wanted to share that with you guys because small or large, like your contribution to each other in this life is what people will remember. And I just wanted to put that out there and kind of give you guys some motivation about it because I know that sometimes that stuff is really difficult and it's hard to give away your time or your resources but really you can make a huge difference in somebody's life and I was so surprised by this text message because I just offered to be a nice human being and this person was almost in tears because I just offered to be helpful to them so just kind of something I wanted to throw out there. I hope that that inspires you to show a random act of kindness or just offer to help somebody in the days to come.
gave you guys some much new cleaning motivation. I did not get everything done that I wanted to get done on this day, but I'm going to be happy with these results. I mean, you cannot argue with these before and afters. Like, I just feel like everything is kind of back to zero. I feel so much better, at least in these two rooms, in my kitchen and my dining room. And you know what? The rest of the house will be waiting tomorrow. It's not going anywhere. And I think sometimes we have to put a little bit less pressure on ourselves and not kill ourselves to keep going and just be happy with what we got done on this particular day. I am very happy with how everything turned out, especially the kitchen because I just felt like that room kept getting neglected and kept getting neglected. So I hope this gives you guys some motivation to uh, just pick a room in your house and go for it, start with something easy and get some satisfaction and then keep going from there because as you can tell before and afters are always amazing and I am always stunned by them because it just makes my heart happy to look around and think okay now everything is good and clean and nice and on this day I can turn off the lights, go to bed and feel satisfied and I hope that I gave you guys that satisfaction as well. I will see you guys in my next brand new video. Bye for now. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.